I'm JD. And I'm Leah. I'm Gibson. And this is Maverick. And we're living the renegade life. Renegade life. We own a 1960 Silver Eagle bus. Next to the bus, we live in a tiny house on a lake in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. We're not about conforming to a standard of societal norms, but of living authentically and sharing the love of Jesus with those that are around us. Faith. Family. Adventure. In this episode, we have some winter fun out in the snow. We live on a lake. It's great in the summer, but we try to take advantage as much as we can in the winter time too. Also, find out the status of the bus for our hundred-month anniversary. Hi, sweetie. Oh, you can barely see. Mm. Oh, this ice is looking pretty rough. We had a few windy days when it was just freezing and we're gonna have to flood this for sure. It looks like my face when I was 13. <laughs> gone down the ice rink is still flooding it takes a couple hours to flood the entire thing it's pretty big so uh, we just let it run and we're actually gonna head out we are going to our Bible study family small group and that's about two hours so when we get back we will check on it look there it is it looks good. The moonlight's shining on it, and we'll just let it flood while we're gone. And we'll check on it when we get back and put everything away. Squeezing through our tight skis with the bus and the house. It's pretty awesome how the bus just fits right in here in our small property. It was a really big blessing that we actually had just enough level land to put the bus right next to our house. Ooh, check out that sunrise. And we got three inches of fresh snow. We 
the driveway is now done. Whew. How you doing? What are you doing, Gibson? What Daddy did. Loud the ice. We remodeled our bathroom about a year ago and we installed these shelves right here. We were looking for a few different kinds and we found some almost exactly like this at Hobby Lobby, but they were like 80 bucks for the shelves. So we decided, let's see if we can recreate them ourselves. So we did. Today's project is to secure these shelves right here to the wall. All right, let's get started. All right, let's get, All right, let's get started. What are you eating? Mm. Oh, is that for me? That's for me. Oh, that's for you? <laughs> So I bought four L brackets to put on these shelves and to secure them to the walls. I just need to pre-drill the holes and then put the L brackets in and screw them to the shelf and to the wall. Turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. And that's a wrap. So we're hoping for our 100 month anniversary to be able to tow our PT Cruiser behind the bus here. Uh, but one problem that we've been having is getting this bus up to speed. It is old, the engine on it is kind of getting there a little bit. And uh, honestly, it usually takes us about seven or eight minutes to get up to 55 miles an hour. I've found our problem. So our gas pedal is way up at the front of the bus, but our engine is way at the back. And literally there is about 35 feet for this throttle cable or the gas pedal that it needs to go for it to actually translate to the engine. And a lot of times in these old buses, stuff gets a little out of alignment, parts start wearing out. When I have our gas pedal all the way down to the floor, I'm actually getting only about 50% of the throttle opened up on the engine. So that's going to be a project to tackle before this trip. I'm excited to get it fixed and I'm excited to have a bus that gets up to speed faster. If you appreciate this video and want to support us in making more, please join our Patreon family. You can join for as little as $2 a month. <laughs> You'll get exclusive access to behind the scenes footage, funny bloopers of our boys, and a us. More in-depth DIY tutorials on projects that we do. And it helps us to continue making encouraging content for you. Go to patreon.com slash the renegade life. We'll put a link to it in the description below. We like having fun and we want to show you how much we love you. So we're going to start giving away a free sticker at the end of every episode. To whoever has the most creative comment about our topic or question of the day. If you're curious what the sticker looks like, it looks like this. Oh. That's nice. That's a nice sticker. Today's question, what is your dream vacation? Leave us a comment below. We're gonna be picking the winner of the sticker three days after this video posts. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit the thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to check out more videos. We'll see you next week. Uh, let's try 
Thanks. You can just go home.